<sighs> hey, what's up guys? It's me and Tega Gamer. Welcome back to some more Ocarina of Time. I lied in the last episode. I just need to record one more episode. So I guess we'll just finish off the water temple in this episode. So guys, what do we have to do? Go to the very bottom of the temple! Yay! Yeah, we have to go back to the bottom. Because I never mentioned this, because we never had to, thank God. Because I never screwed up the order of the keys. If you wanna re if you wanna like lower the water level to medium, from high to medium, you can't. You if you wanna if you wanna change the flow of the water level, it's a set pattern. High to low to medium to high. So yeah, if you wanna set the water, you practically have to go down a set pattern. So you can't go from high you can't go from low to high. You have to go from low to medium to high, then high back to low. So that's really annoying. Oy, oy, oy. Ooh, I hit my head. So anyway, to get to that, to the the one room we haven't been able to go into yet. Oh wait a minute. And eh, we can get it later. We can get it later, or we can get it after we drop out here. Um. That didn't come out right. Um. I'm talking about the the one room on the very bottom we haven't gone into. We can go into there right now after we lower the water level. But um, we can also go to that room on the middle floor now, too. So we're going to go to those rooms, and then we should be able to head straight for the boss room. Wow. That was weird. Anyway. Gosh. I'm just excited to get this over with. And actually, I hope you guys can use this as a very accurate guide. For if you end up going through the water temple, and I hope I did an okay job explaining all the things, and you know. Because I know this this temple frustrated the hell out of me the first time I did it. <sighs> but anyway. Oi, oi, oi. I'm gonna climb out of the water, and now we can use our newly obtained long shot to get over here. And we do need a key to go into here. Let's see, what room is this? Alright, did we need to come into here. This is where we get the f uh actually maybe there there's six keys. This is where we get the last small key of the dungeon. So it is important that you come over here. Get over here! <laughs> oh Mortal Kombat X is on the mind. Anyway. As you guys can see, we have a bombable wall over here. So we're gonna boom this wall. Boom! With the boom devil. That's a first. <laughs> I just kamikaze all those guys. Oh my lord. And I'm just gonna say right now, this wall is also bombable. You can also see like the textures are all wonky. We basically need to push this block over to that switch. So, you need to bomb open both walls, so that way, you know, obviously, you can uh, go through both of them. And push the block from one side, and then hop over to the other. This room is also a pain in the butt, because it takes freaking forever. Anyway, let's just pull the block this way. But yeah, really, after this, guys, the dungeon is so straightforward, it hurts. There really isn't much left to the dungeon other than getting one more small key and then the big key. And then I don't even think we can um, climb that the other side of that side. We have to go through the tunnel again, right? Yeah. So now we're just going to push this block into the abyss. I'm going to take a nice refreshing sip from my Coke that off. Wow, that was an upskirt shot. <laughs> and doing that raises the water level in this room. Excuse me if you've heard that burp. And now we can get up to this door. With more puzzle puzzles. I'm kidding, we're just gonna hit that switch. <laughs> tink, 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 tink. Oh, I screwed that up. Yeah, you have to be careful with how you climb these things. They're really wonky. I'm gonna climb a land on the water. Alright, let's try that again. And I think we can just jump from this one to the. I did it again, didn't I? 
God dang it, I hate jumping into these things. They're literally the most awkwardest things ever. Alright, let's do it again. Gosh, come on. I want to save my rage for the boss of this dungeon. Oh my gosh. Son of a... I'm not in the mood anymore. I had a feeling. I had a feeling. Oh yeah, yo, come on. Cause um, if I can finish my th my thoughts and my sentences, I hate this dungeon boss worse than Dark Link. If you thought Dark Link was bad, oh my goodness, you have not seen anything, friends. Anyway, over here is also where the boulders come through, and we need to have lay iron boots on because there's actually a secret room down here. Really quickly though, I'm gonna kill the Skulltula and take its soul. Yeah. Yeah, there's a room over here. Oh, you douche! You douche! You douche! Anyway. Maybe there isn't a room. I think it's like an alcove, right? Oh no, there- <gasps> No! Oh my god, I'm not supposed to come here yet. I'm supposed to go to the- I just wasted time! Oh. I'm supposed to go through the midway door first. Oh, that hurts. That hurts a lot. That's like getting kicked in the nuts. That hurts on so many levels, guys. Oh my goodness. And I get hurt by the boulder. The boulder! Oh my gosh. I can't believe I did this out of order. Well, that's what happens when you don't study the dungeon before you go into it. <sighs> wow, I can even hear the enemies clamoring down there. Oh, they came to get me. A uh, Link, hookshot. <sighs> Welp. I'm guessing we're gonna go get a key from that area we weren't able to go to yet, and then we come to this area, and then we go to the top and fight the boss. I'm guessing that's actually where the boss key is. Yeah, it's probably where it is. God dang it. I can't believe I messed that up. I honestly am frazzled. Okay, we can't hook shot anywhere. Anyway, because yeah, the song's right here. That's what happens when you try to play the song faster than it's attentioned. Alright, and actually now that we have the long shot, we can get up to there. The highest, the higher platform. Let's see. Oh, because there's a gold sculptula. Heck, I think we can get it from down here. I'm curious now, how many of these do we have? You have to have over 40. 41 exactly. Wow, that's funny. Well, I'm gonna climb up here just in case. Cause I'm paranoid. Hey ya! Even though that's probably the only reason to come up here. Yep. Alright. Wow, I actually managed to clip under there. Alright. Let's get a move on. Oy oy oy. Alright, so now we're finally going to be able to go into, th not that room, this room. Okay, I need to get my arrows out here. Alright, because now I can actually show you guys. As you guys can see, there's physically not enough time for Link to jump into the water and swim over. You need the long shot to, to uh, hook across. Gosh, if I can hit the thing. The time always screws me up. But anyway, now we're on the other side of this block that we pushed earlier. And now, we can go this way for a measly key. <laughs> Alright, 
save you guys and save us some time. I'll meet you guys back at the door. I was my mom but yeah my mic was not even on. Gotta love it when you know you're not commentating. God dang it. All I was saying though guys was that annoyed that all that for the big key could have saved time if I did it in the right order, yada yada. And let's just get the hell out of this damn dungeon. But wow. I'm tired guys. Oi. Let's get this over with. We're almost done. So now we just need to raise the water back to the top. And we can go fight the boss! Yay! <laughs> My enthusiasm is astounding. Anyway, so I think we want to be on this side of the room. Yeah, we need to go to that door. It's way more precise when you're slower with it, I have to admit. And that angle, though. <laughs> yeah, all we're gonna do here is once again... Well, actually... There we go. We can use that and not use an arrow now. Called it, but I didn't hit him. Oh, well. <sighs> now let's play the dang song again. So we've had to do this twice. A hug. Alright, well anyway. Luckily now all we gotta do is hook shot, go through a door, and fight the most annoying boss in Ocarina of Time. I'm serious, guys. This is the worst boss in the game. Oh good, well if I just get that. I was gonna say. Good, we'll have full health during this fight. <sighs> anyway, whatever. Um, let's just get across. Is there a fairy in that jar? If there is, I'm gonna bottle it. They knew! They knew this boss would be a pain in the ass. Don't care, let's go. Word to the wise, you wanna have the long shot equipped for this boss fight and I don't understand this room you just gotta walk up this slant and not get hit and then it just enter the boss room anyway guys here we go at first glance though it seems like there's nothing in here but the Navi tells us that that isn't normal water Say hello to Morpha, giant aquatic amoeba. I hate this boss. I hate it. The only way to damage Morpha is by hookshotting her brain. Her brain is basically that red orb. I got lucky there. I got very lucky hookshotting Morpha there. But this is what you're going to be doing majority of the boss fight. 
Oh, I missed. 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 This is the boss fight. And then when you do get Morpha up, you get one hit in. And Morpha jumps back into the water to dick around with you. And then I haven't even got to explain. Yeah, and if you stand in one spot too long, a tentacle will come out and grab Link. And fling him around the room. And dear God, you do not want to be in the water. You will become the boss's plaything if you're caught in the water. Yeah, just, yeah. This boss is just so annoying on so many levels. Because it's just forced waiting. You're not able to do anything. And yes, even though I know I'm completing a crap ton right now, I know there's a trick to lock Morpha into one spot, but I never... NEVER able to pull it off. What you do is you pull Morpha up and you keep hitting her into one of the four corners in this room. But I am never able to pull it off. Never. So whenever I replay Ocarina of Time, I always, always, oh god, hate this part because I remember, hey, I've got the Water Temple to deal with and Morpha to deal with. God, I hate this fight. And yeah, just forget about standing on any of the four pillars. Because as you can see, I'll pull Morpha, and she'll just fall right back into the water. Oh god, two tentacles. Yeah, and as the fight progresses, she'll spawn more tentacles out of the water to attack you. Come on. Aw, oh, come on. Oh god. And yeah, I would normally show what it looks like if Morpha grabs you, but I don't want to. <gasps> no! Right when I say it. You're gonna lose hearts the whole time this happens. And then if I get lucky... Okay, good. Wow, I did get lucky. She threw me back onto dry land there. Come on. Oh my gosh, nope. I was gonna hope to get another hit. Oh, I see that tentacle behind me. Oh, better move. I, I just... My rage for this boss fight. Oh, oh no, I used the fairy! <laughs> oh, I've got two more, it doesn't matter. Oi, hey, oi. Man, is it over yet? Oh, no! Oh, man. I know everyone is gonna agree with me that this dungeon just sucks. But if you do like this dungeon, good for you. I don't, see, I don't physically see why you'd like it, but that's your opinion. Anyway, regardless... Oh! No! I had a chance to lock her into position there. And I got grabbed again. I don't know if you can wiggle the stick and press the buttons to get dropped faster, but it is annoying! Oh god, I'm in the water. Yeah, if you're wondering, Morph will collide into you and do damage to you. And do that, and keep you in the water. The only way to get out is climbing via one of the- Oh my god. Have mercy. shot is long. Oh gosh, I almost got grabbed there. Oh! Oh! The tentacle got me. Oh, I have one more fairy. One more fairy. This basically just means I need to keep moving. I can't stand in one spot for too long. Or else Morpha will get me. Yes! There we go! Ugh! I just hate how long this fight is. It's so annoying. But with that, guys, Morpha is defeated.
Gotta love that music. So where's the heart piece in this boss fight? Is it on one of the four pillars? Um, I don't remember where the piece of heart- I mean the heart- uh, the heart container spawns in, after this fight. Where does it spawn? Oh, it spawns over there. I'm gonna walk around, just so I don't accidentally walk into the, the uh, teleporter. Uh, with that, guys, we get another heart container, and we only need one more piece of heart to, uh, to get another heart container. <laughs> with that, guys, let's teleport out of this hellhole. And there's Rudo! Yeah, where were you the whole time I was in the dungeon, damn it? <laughs> Link, I would have expected no less from the man I chose to be my husband. Sora's domain and its people will- Whoa, that was weird, my door just creaked open by itself. So sorry! <laughs> Big Poe, damn it! <laughs> I may not even be Thomas for all you know. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Oh god, what am I doing? Uh, Zora's domain and its people will eventually return to their original state. Eventually. As a reward, I grant my eternal love to you. And Link's just like, shit, 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 shit. Well, that's what I want to say, but I don't think I can offer that now. I have to guard the water temple as a sage of water. And you, you're searching for the Princess Zelda? Huh, you can't hide anything from me. Princess Zelda, she's alive. I can sense it. So don't be discouraged. I can tell that I can tell that nothing will stop you in your quest for justice and peace. You must take this medallion. Take it respectfully. That probably just took away like 100% from the seriousness of that. Me reaching over and open, closing my door. But with that guy. We get the water medallion, and Rudo awakens, and awakens as a sage and adds her power to ours. If you see Sheik, please give him my thanks, okay? But with that, guys... Lake Hylia is restored, and the water returns to its normal level. As the water rises, the evil is vanishing from the lake. Link, you did it! Did Rudo want to thank me? I see. We have to return peace to Hyrule for her sake too, don't we? Look at that, Link. Together, you and Princess Rudo destroyed the evil monster. Once again, the lake is filled with pure water. All is as it was here. With that, Sheik disappears. Anyway, guys... This episode will probably be 30 minutes long because we're going to get two things real quick. And I want to use that time to talk about videos that are going to be coming out around this weekend. Because this episode is definitely coming out Friday. <laughs> First off, really quickly before I lose track of myself. Um, if we need to, we'll play the sun song so we can get the sun. Because I don't know if we can get this. There we go, yeah. I'm just gonna shoot the sun, and I'll explain why in a second, but an item's gonna drop from that. Basically, basically, this pedestal tells us to shoot into the sun. When the water fills the lake, shoot for the morning light. Salute the sun! <laughs> no, but guys, doing this straightforward gives us the fire arrow. Yeah, the fire arrow, believe not, is a completely optional item. Ice arrow is too, actually. We actually can't get that for a little bit. But yeah, it's a completely optional item, and that's all you have to do to get it. 
But anyway, now we're gonna talk about some stuff for later, guys, this weekend. This episode most definitely is gonna be coming out Friday. The day before should be the 23rd, yep, I'm looking at my calendar right now, the Mario Kart 8 second DLC comes out. So, just want to give you guys a heads up, there will be that covering this weekend. So, we will have Mario Kart 8 DLC for this weekend. I don't know if I'll have friends doing it with me, it'll probably just be me doing it, but, um, I don't know. Yeah, so there will be Mario Kart 8 DLC this weekend. Yeah, so just want to let you guys know that too. And I hope you guys are enjoying the return of Metroid Prime this week. That should be also wrapping up pretty soon. But anyway, I believe we could get another piece of heart if we're able to... Let's see, can we hook shot to this roof? We cannot hook shot to this roof. Hmm. How are we supposed to get up here? Oh, whoa. Whoa. Do I have to do what I think I have to do? Um... I'm not seeing anything. Anything. Nothing over here. I don't think. No. You can't hook shop up. Hook shop. Hook shot up onto this roof. Wow, that's too long for hook shot. Right, let me try something. What if we hook shot to the ladder? Let's try that. That scared the hell out of me. <laughs> Holy crap! All right. Um. Yeah, that does nothing. Dang it. Oh, I need... Oh, we can do this right now, actually. If we come over here, there are these plots of land, I think. Is it over here? Is it more down the way? No, it's down here. And it's becoming nighttime, too. Anyway, there's a scarecrow over here. And it's most fortunate if we do this, actually. I am Bonoru, the scarecrow musical genius. I hear a song once and I never forget it, baby. So what we want to do is we want to play our ocarina for him. Oh, whoops, I need to lock on to him. Or maybe not, I don't know. Am I doing something wrong? What I'm trying to do is you can uh, play a song for the scarecrow. You play a song for the scarecrow, and um, it'll turn into the scarecrow song. And you can practically play that song in certain spots. He'll pop up, and you can hook shot to him. And I believe you could do that by the house over there, which I'm like freaking out why he's not reacting to my ocarina. Oh well, I'll figure it out later. But anyway guys, with that, I'm actually going to end this episode off here. So if you guys enjoyed this episode of Ocarina of Time, Thunderbolt that like button, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace!